So let's drag an if statement right here. So if frog dot y not not frog dot velocity y frog dot y. Oh, we need math because we want to if it's less than. So let's find the less than. No, that's greater than. Less than. If frog dot y is less than 20 less than 20 uh, send it back down so I think then we would want a positive velocity y so then frog dot velocity y equals 3 right yeah okay cool let's try it uh, up and as soon as it hits the top let's send it down Yes. Awesome. Perfect. Look at that. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Mushroom. Now you just need something for your sprite to jump over. This program already has a mushroom just past the right edge of the screen, but it needs to move toward your frog. Okay, so basically they're saying, oh, there, there's a mushroom right there. Okay. It needs to move toward your frog. Do this. Use the velocity x block to make the mushroom move left across the screen. So there is an if statement down here for the mushroom. So we need to use velocity x to make the mushroom move to the left. Okay, so mushroom and a negative velocity we want. All right, so let's see. Uh... Hint, the mushroom should start moving at the very beginning of the game and never change. So should it be inside or outside the draw loop? I would say that means it should be outside the draw loop. So maybe I should move this up here. Because I just restarted it and nothing happened. All right, cool. Right. That was This was a great hint. Awesome. Okay. Looping. The game will be more fun if the frog can jump more than once. You can make the mushroom loop by checking whether it's moved past the left edge and moving it back to the right edge when it has. So that's what, that's what this if statement was for. Do this. Find the if statement that checks whether a mushroom has passed the left edge. Yes. Okay, cool. Use the sprite.x block to set the mushroom's position back to the right edge if it has. Okay, so... Let's check what its x position is at first, 350. So now, if mushroom.x is less than negative 30, we're going to change mushroom.x back to 350. And I think that should do it. Let's see. Boom. All right, folks. Well done. <laughs>